All right, so I'm going to be demoing today an app that I built for the company I work for called Ridgetop Group. And Ridgetop Group has these little uh, wireless vibration sensors. So they pretty much they have accelerometers on them, and they take data and send the files to uh, Ridgetop Group's Sentinel gateway. And what I've done is I've created a little uh, app on my phone that communicates with the gateway, and it can send data back and forth so I can um, configure our sensors and I can also plot, uh, take and plot data real time. So the first thing to do is, as I've shown, uh, connect over Wi-Fi to our Sentinel gateway here. So it's the Wi-Fi point for this one is RGI-GW-100943. And now I can go ahead and open up the Motion View app, so Sentinel Motion View. And when we get here, we'll have two tabs, okay? So I have a Sensors tab and a Gateway tab. Um, this is the gateway I'm connected to. I can add new ones if I press the button in the bottom right. And then I also can go to my sensors tab and I'll hit the button down there and it will locate all nearby sensors. So I've got two sensors on right here. You can tell because they're blinking right there. Um, and after a couple seconds, okay, it's located both the sensors. So I can play with them a little bit. Let's see, if I go for sensor 136, um, I can do like this config button and this brings up all the properties of the sensor that I'm that I'm able to adjust So I can turn the sensor LED on or off I can change which channels right now. There's there's three axes that collect data X Y and Z um, And I can turn those on and off. I can change the sampling rate if I want to um, And then I can update it. So I'll do an update here so you can see what it looks like So I just hit update and you should see one of them start blinking a little bit more quickly. There you go. So that means that that one is, has received a, a new configuration and it's updating itself and now it's ready with the new update. Um, then the other main feature is I can stream data. So I'll press stream data and then I can go look at the plot. And here this is live data from the sensor and I can start shaking it and we'll see, there we go, I'm recording that data. So that data is being transmitted to my phone real time and it's being recorded on the gateway. So all these files are saved, um, but it just lets you see what's happening with your sensors right away. So it's good for like lab testing, that kind of stuff. And then you can, of course, you know, change some, some plots on the, or change the plot a little bit. I can change which channels I, I'm showing, or I can turn off like the ticks, so I get a little bit more of the plot. Then I can also pause and go back in time through the data that I've taken. So if I go back to where I was shaking it, there we go. So you can look a little bit more closely if you want. So that's, uh, that's what I've put together. And I hope you guys thought that was interesting. Uh, thanks for watching.